Hi, I'm Martin Ingram. I'm VP of Strategy with AppSense, and I want to talk to you today about client virtualization. So, what's client virtualization and, and why would you care? Well, you can't help but have noticed all the conversations that have been going on on hosted virtual desktops over really the last three, four years. So, that's the idea of moving to a world of componentized operating systems and applications hosted in the data center and delivering a display protocol through to your users so that your users get a familiar and productive user environment, but IT gets to, to benefit from economies of scale across standardized components running in the data center. And that's all well and good, and that's great, but it doesn't solve the whole problem. Because even today, if you look out across your, your estate, you'll find that maybe, well, depending upon your business, that maybe 50% of your users are already using laptops. So for them, a completely hosted solution really won't work because they'd need connectivity back into the data center. And we also know that laptops are, are one of the more expensive platforms to manage. So we need to find a way of improving the management of laptops um, as we go forward. The problem is that laptops are actually very different from the hosted case in many different ways. But I suppose the simplest way to think of them is that you can't rely on network connectivity at all. And all that we're doing with the hosted virtual desktop assumes that we can have access to network components in the data center and that we can deliver display protocol down to the users. Now the key here is to recognize that the changes we're making in the move to hosted virtual desktops to VDI and the way we manage in that environment is the way that we will manage going forward on the laptop platform. And that's what client virtualization is. It's bringing those same benefits to bear for the laptop user. And it's all at the bottom of it, the same management ethos that we're proving out now in our hosted virtual desktop implementations. So we want to be able to manage in the same way by getting economies of scale across standardized components. But to do that, we need some more technologies to, to mature. And key amongst those is the client hypervisor. Now we've become very used to buying servers with hypervisors already installed. And this model is going to move through into the laptop so that we can start to get the separation between the operating system and the hardware uh, that we need in order to deal with the operating system as a component on the laptop platform. And in that way, we get the same benefits out across the laptop estate as we do in hosted virtual desktop. We get to be able to replace the components in terms of um, operating system and applications as we see fit, making sure that they're always at the most recent version, while giving the users a familiar working environment while we change those components. So the combination of standardization and the user-specific user environment gives us a manageable platform on client on laptop platforms as well. And that's why you're going to see over the next couple of years a lot more focus both on the hypervisors, which you're already seeing stuff in the market on, from people such as VMware and Citrix. You're also going to see more in terms of how you manage out on the laptop estate in a virtualized world. Because this change for laptops ends up being, if anything, more significant than the changes we make in going to, to VDI, the hosted solution right now, because laptop population is drastically increasing and the costs to manage laptops are higher so our overall benefits uh, are greater. So in this way we bring the benefits of desktop virtualization through into the laptop world and hence to a whole new population of users who are currently not well served. Thank you for your time today and uh, look out for more news from AppSense over the following weeks.